Sonnet released some pretty cool enclosures and modules for connecting PCIe cards or even GPUs to some older Macs. Specifically in this video, we're gonna look at the Duomoto enclosure that can house two of these modules or attachments here. And if you are a Mac mini owner that can run an eGPU, then you might wanna listen up here because the eGPU performance boost that you can get and this whole clean setup look with the Duomoto is a game changer. So full disclosure, it sent out a couple of these enclosures and modules for us to test out, but this video is not sponsored in any way. And yes, there are tons of other eGPU options and enclosures from other companies, but what makes this appealing to me is that you can add different modules to those enclosures, and it's not just limited to an eGPU. So if you wanna add in some PCIe expansion cards for your Mac, then the Echo 3 is the perfect option. It has three slots for PCIe card expansion, and works with computers running Thunderbolt 3 or Thunderbolt 4 ports. The Echo 3 supports three full-size PCIe cards for video, audio, SATA, networking, and SSD, and it all fits perfectly in these little slots. Setup is super simple, just a few thumb screws, and then just a few regular screws, and just sliding the cards in and out of place. That's really it. Depending on what card you decide to use, you might have to connect a cable or two, and if you're worried about how loud this might be on your desk, or if it's gonna run super hot, don't be. The Echo 3 has dual fans, and it's all temperature controlled, so everything runs cool and silent. You can use it as a standalone setup, or you can take this module and put it in that Duomoto module desktop enclosure that I talked about. And speaking of, this enclosure allows you to basically use any two of the modules that are offered from Sonnet. So here we have specifically the XMAC mini module and an eGPU module. But again, you can also use that previously mentioned Echo 3 for PCIe cards if you want to. Now, after you get the enclosure off via the screws and those thumb screws, I can slide a Mac Mini into its dedicated module to keep things all nicely and neatly stored in this giant enclosure, basically making this big thing your computer and you don't have to have a big enclosure and your Mac Mini all on your desk. It's all just put into one. You do still get access to all of the ports and things that you might need on the back of your Mac Mini. And you also get even more port options like some USB type A ports, more USB-C, and even more Thunderbolt 3 ports too. Also, the Mac Mini module has support for two internal NVMe SSDs at up to 16 terabytes that can be routed right through the module connecting directly to your Mac Mini, giving you even more flexibility and more SSD storage without any of that messy look. It's all just neatly configured inside of the module, inside of the enclosure. Then with the eGPU part of this, you can slide in your supported graphics card and attach it to your Mac Mini via a Thunderbolt cable. And you're all good to go now with even more SSD storage and a heck of a lot more GPU power, all in this case. Now, how much more power, you ask? Well, it depends on the card, and there are a limited amount of cards that you can use with a Mac for an eGPU, but we tested specifically the AMD Radeon Vega and an AMD Radeon 6800 in Geekbench 5, just real quick to see what kind of scores we could get, and it was crazy. OpenCL and Metal were around 4,000 with the dedicated graphics card that's with the Mac Mini, but with the Radeon Vega, we got scores for both OpenCL and Metal around 55,000. And if you get an even more powerful graphics card like the 6800, you can expect to see scores for OpenCL reach nearly 100,000 and over 130,000 for Metal. Now, if these numbers don't mean anything, to you, what I can tell you is this all translates very well for graphic intensive tasks like audio and video production, 3D rendering, and yes, even for gaming. And if you want to see a separate video based around some real world tasks like video editing performance and capabilities with these modules and maybe even some gaming tests with the graphics cards, please let me know in the comments down below and we can focus more on all of that. But more importantly, these expansion systems is what I wanted to highlight and they all come in sorts of different configurations and options and they all have different prices. So if you wanna get the, the setup that I have here, all together with that Duomoto and those two modules that I specifically mentioned, that'll run you around 1250, but you can also purchase for your own needs 
just whatever you might need separately. There's even a rack mounted version if you need to rack mount this entire setup. There's plenty of options. So visit their website if you wanna check out more information and let me know your thoughts on everything in the comments down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching and I hope to see you around in the next video.